everyone, my name is Chai, and today we are going to be taking a look on how to make some nice paths. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future content. Let's get on with the video. There are a handful of things to think about while making paths. Most paths will have some combination of these three things, a body, a border, and some lighting. Please remember that these are only suggestions and you can build however you'd like. First, let's take a look at the body of a path. In most situations, this is the part that you walk on. I say most because there are some paths that use a different method of transport, such as rivers for boats or things to fly through with elytras. These chips might be differently helpful or useful for different types of situations. One of the things you might want to consider is how long the path has been there, and how that might affect the shape of a path. For example, look at this tower. It is old and crumbly, so the path should be similar old and crumbly. In this case, I would make the path a bit wider than I would otherwise, and then replace some of those blocks with whatever block I'm using for the terrain, in this case grass. For the block palette, I would want to make sure that I'm not using the exact same blocks as I use in the build. This will make the path blend too much into the build, and then it looks a bit odd. Because I'm using stone bricks as the main block in the build, I'm going to use some andesite and gravel to fill in the empty space here. In situations where you want the build to look better kept, you might want to have the path look more structured. Here, we can just make the path three wide, fill it with bricks, and call it a day. After you have the body of the path sorted out, you can take it a step further by adding a border. This can make it clearer where you want people to walk. An easy way to do this is to add grass and flowers to the sides of a path. This can be as simple as using bone meal, or you can place them manually, which can give you more control on what appears where. I find that placing taller plants further away from a path, such as bamboo or tall grass, and shorter plants closer to the path, such as leaf blocks or short flowers, can create a nice sense of depth. The final topic I'd like to touch on is lighting. I highly recommend not skipping this step, especially if you're playing in survival. Even if it's storage spam, it can go a long way to defend your path from creepers. There are many ways to light up an area. You can elevate torches or lanterns up onto a wall block or a fence pole. You can create many different variations of lampposts, or even create hanging lanterns with a bit of floating glass or copper. If you don't want to distract from the build with fancy lighting, depending on your terrain, you can dig down a block, place a torch, and cover it up with some moss carpet. It allows for an area to be lit without drawing attention to the source of the lighting. There are many different types of paths, so experiment with different things and see what works best for you. If you have your own tips, please make sure to leave them down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon!